Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, welcome back to Unnatural Selections. As always, I am your host, Alfred Warner. Tonight's feature, we're going to be diving into a genre that has been popular for many, many years and has certainly grown exponentially in popularity over the last several years, and that is the horror genre. Everyone seems to have a take on this particular genre, everyone seems to have an opinion about it. Uh, and as for me, ladies and gentlemen, I believe there are three things that make up uh, a decent horror film. One, suspense. Limit your jump scares, ladies and gentlemen. You're not fooling anybody. Two, mystery. Keep your audience guessing. Keep your audience thinking. And of course, number three, the most important, deal with something in reality. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress this enough. More real you make a scenario, the more it becomes real up here. This is what you want, ladies and gentlemen. The film that we are going to look at here, ladies and gentlemen, is Clown House. This is a 1989 horror film from director Victor Salva, who you might know as the creator of the Jeepers Creepers series of films. So certainly, this is his chosen genre, and I think he does a fairly decent job with that. Now, unfortunately, with this particular film, ladies and gentlemen, there was much controversy surrounding it due to the relationship, or the director's relationship with the star of the film, as well as his history with people of that age in in his past. But we're not going to focus on that element, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the film itself. Now, why are we showcasing this film? Well, one, I think that he covers the three elements that I mentioned very, very well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, certainly the theme or the uh, you know premise uh, deals with a subject that is fearful to many people in general. Certainly clowns as as a as a element, ladies and gentlemen, certainly scares many people uh, without having any any association with anything that happens in this particular film. Now it is true, ladies and gentlemen. The, the elements of this film, as well as you know, the acting and, and, and certain shots, uh, are a little campy. They're a little outdated. Uh, I don't think they would work as well uh, anymore in today's society. But I still feel that this is a good piece of filmmaking, as it sticks to an element that keeps it very believable. Uh, the film follows a trio of brothers who, you know, attend a, a, a carnival in their town. And during said carnival, the, the three performers, uh, more specifically clown performers, are kidnapped, shall we say, and replaced with other people. Let's just say they were not hired by the circus. And from then on, you can probably guess where the story goes from there. Now, if there's one thing that I think is wonderful in this film, ladies and gentlemen, it's that you will notice a wonderful acting alum in his, I believe, very first feature appearance, and that is Mr. Sam Rockwell, who you will know as Justin Hammer from the Marvel Universe, as well as Three Billboards over Ebbing, Missouri, 
and a host of other films. Uh, as the oldest brother in the film, ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful little fun role for him. I think he does a very good job and uh, certainly kicked off a wonderful acting career with this particular film. But as you know, ladies and gentlemen, on the show, you don't need to take my word for it. Now comes the time we entertain you. We take our own elements and we cut our own promo, promotion, for that matter, for the film. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is what I'm about to leave you with. I thank you for joining me on this episode of Unnatural Selections. Until next time, stay safe. Enjoy. Show them something what they don't want to see. Yeah. I'm sure you would, Charlie.